Empty, snow-covered streets of the city, residential high-rise buildings burned down by Russian shells and at the sounds of small arms on the outskirts. This is how Avdiivka lives today, a suburb of the temporarily occupied Donetsk. This is the old part of the city and there is a close combat about 400 meters from here. You can hear small arms and assault attempts. According to Ukrainian military personnel, they happen here almost every day. The situation is not easy, but all areas are currently provided with food. Volunteers come here and bring people everything they need, despite the lack of security. Here is a front line. We will go through the very front. You mean we are riding near the front? Yes, there is an industrial area 500 meters away from us, and there is the exit to the Kostantinivka highway through the forest, around 1.5 kilometers. Having changed their offices to armored vehicles, many employees of the military administration have been volunteering for a year now. People are trying to bring bread, and those who remain here to care for pets, they bring animal feed. Kitty, kitty, let's go, let's go. All of you beautiful, kitty, kitty. Wow, so many of them. We have 19 of them, 19 kids as we call them. There were three of our kittens. Then we had to treat the others. So you are afraid of Russian shelling, but you cannot leave them, right? No, I cannot leave because of them. What will I do with these cats? Throw them out? Local residents also became volunteers. Artem has been evacuating people from here for 10 months now. He took people out from under shelling dozens of times, helped the wounded and seriously ill. <laughs> A man was just taken out yesterday after a heart attack. The guys arrived, they didn't evacuate him, but took him to the hospital, because only seriously ill people are taken. Yes. This area of Avdivka has known what Russian shells are since 2014. However, there had not been such large damages before. Now there is not a single surviving house. Avdiivka is 100% damaged by the attacks of the Russian invaders. About 2.5 thousand people live in the city. There are families with children, but most of those who remain are lonely elderly people. My husband is buried here. My son is buried here. The son died at the factory. When the war started, my husband had a heart attack. That's all. Is your flat in this house? And is it already without windows? Yes, yes. Nina Timofeevna, is it difficult? Yes, but what can we do? Is it easy for anyone? Is it easy for you to run around with these cameras? For almost a year, the Russians have been storming Avdiivka in several directions. The Ukrainian military says that it is not easy to contain such offensives, but they add that when the enemy suffers losses, it immediately retreats to previously occupied positions. Does it feel like they really try to break through every day? There is. Now they have stopped. Today they have stopped the attacks. In my opinion, only because they lost a lot of people. Two tanks, several infantry fighting vehicles. So now they are going to regroup and will try again. So do the losses stop them? Yes, only losses stop them for a while. Despite the constant Russian shelling, several grocery stores continue to operate in Avdiivka. The only doctor sees patients every day. There is a pharmacy and public utilities. Reported by Pavel Stelmach, Diana Kolesnik, Olena Hramova, UATV News.